Come friends, gather round while I tell you of Martin, a boy who quite simply could never stop farting. He farted all day, he farted all night. His farting put Martin's six sisters to flight. His aunt in the attic, first begging his pardon, withdrew to a tent at the end of the garden and called through the flap. Will these farts never end? Oh no, Martin's farting has started again. There were whistling whifflers. And the small ones in medley. There were great grand grenades. And then silent but deadly. It could not be said that he lacked variation, but soon it became quite beyond toleration. They put him on diets. The farting grew worse. His school was closed down with a flatulent curse. His parents decided enough was enough. Martin's farting had made life a trifle too tough. They sought out a sailing boat, tall as a tree. They offered the captain a substantial fee in order this odor of which to be free. They asked him to take Martin's farting to sea. But a captain named Didier, <laughs> he laughed at the tale. This farting, he said, it will put wind in my sails, and quickly fed Martin some smelly French cheese. And Martin whipped up an extraordinary breeze. But the captain was cultured in theatre and arts. He knew there was more to these wondrous farts. So he took Martin off to the stage in Paris, instructing the boy with these farts. Now, be free. So Martin began with a toot and a pop, and a whoop and a whiz and a tink and a snark, and then whistling whifflers. <laughs> and small ones in medley, and great grand grenades, and then a silent but deadly, and then a grand final flourish, he farted a flame, and the crowd gave a roar and called out Martin's name, Fatin Martin, Martin Fatin, Fatin Martin, ooh la la. And very soon he was famous throughout the land. Now Martin grew wealthy and really quite grand, and his parents and sisters moved over to France and began to say things like oui oui and bon chance. And they all lived together happily, finding fine spouses, insisting on living in faraway houses. And Martin was honored as a master of arts for the gift to La France of these fabulous farts. Farting Martin, Martin Farting, Farting Martin, ooh la la.